Hello everybody, I'm Mr. Play Dr. Gaming here, and today we're going to be counting down the top 5 things i like to see in a new Modern Warfare 2 2022 reboot. Anyway, before we get into today's video, make sure to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell, and leave a comment, positive or negative. Anyway, let's get right into the countdown. For the number one on the list, what I want to see from Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 is the removal of skill-based matchmaking. Or at least to tone down on skill based matchmaking. You won't believe how many times I perform excellent in one game and the next game I just get absolutely dumped on because the skill based matchmaking just think, oh, just because you perform good in one game, you will perform like a G in another, which that's not how it works. I like in the old time where you just randomly got matched up with random skill level. Like I mean, call it in the old time. You you either got shit on, or you were or you were shitting on the other team. But now it's where you constantly just getting put on, put on your skill level. It gets tiring, man. Like, dude, when I play Call of Duty now, it feel like I did a full day's work when I just been sitting in my PC chair all day. And it should not feel like that when you playing a video game. When you playing a video game, it shouldn't feel like you've been playing doing a full day's work. Or you competing for like a thousand dollars. That's how playing Call of Duty feels sometimes. Playing Call of Duty nowadays feel like you competing for a thousand dollars. It shouldn't really feel that way. Like when you trip, like when I come home from school and just want to relax, the last thing I want to do is sweat in Call of Duty. Like dude, that what League play it for, and 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 even then, that that was that what League play for. If you want to sweat in Call of Duty, go to League play. But why? put skill based make make it in the casual game modes like it's casual for a reason casual literally mean you can play and relax without having to worry about your skill level compared to other people because you're going to randomly get matched with other people and frankly i think that's how it should be when it comes to online games well casual online games they do why you think game got rank mode for Gang got rank mode so you can play against people your skill level if you want a competitive challenge. The reason you go to casual is to play a casual game regardless of people's skill level. So that that is number that or that is my number five thing I want from Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2022. Is that the removal or tone down skill based matchmaking from 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 Call of Duty, basically. Another thing I want to see from Call of Duty 2022 is Activision not relying on old map. I feel like over the last past couple of Call of Duty that Call of Duty had recently been relying on old map to carry their way through a Call of Duty life cycle. Like Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare, Cold War, and now Vanguard. It feels like Call of Duty is just relying on old maps to carry Call of Duty. Like how many variations of shipment we got? Let's see, we got shipment in Modern Warfare, we got Newtown in, in Cold War, and we got shipment again in Vanguard. And don't get me started on Cold War new maps, basically just remaster maps. The problem I kind of seen with Call of Duty is that the new map they do come out aren't really that good, but their over their over reliance on old maps are kind of it's kind of concerning because honestly relying on old map from past game or isn't or not really it is good don't get me wrong it's good to see old map come back from past games but solely relying on old map you created in the past ain't really that great so what i want to see from call of duty modern warfare 2022 is them not relying on old maps as much because I, I get the feeling that call of duty is relying on old maps too heavily due to their new map not being all that up to snuff another thing i'd like to see from call of duty modern warfare is that they finally saw the cheater problem i know it'll probably be a fever dream but it, it'll be nice to see call of duty finally saw it cheating problem especially on pc because i feel like the the cheater problem on pc just been more rampant than on console like Call of Duty for a while has just have been playable due to cheaters in the game. Basically, have like a lot of cheaters because whatever Call of Duty does, it just seems like they just find a workaround for their anti-cheat. So I hope with this new installment of the game, they find a way to get rid of the cheater once and for all. Another thing I like to see from Modern Warfare 2022 is more day one map. What I mean by more maps on day one is that. 
To me, I feel like Call of Duty recently just been slacking when it came to releasing new maps day one. And I feel like now they with this new upcoming game, they need to have the same amount of maps that were in Modern Warfare 2 or even Modern Warfare 3. Like, I ain't asking for them to make like a whole bunch of crazy maps. Like a whole bunch of unrealistic numbers. I say at least around about 16 maps on launch. Like at least about 16 maps on launch. And here's the thing. When you release a game and there are not enough map, you kind of get bored of map really, really quickly. Maps can only be fun for a certain amount of time when it just become repetitive and boring. So that's what I would like to see from Call of Duty is more maps on day one. And for the final thing I want to see in Modern Warfare 2022 is give the player a reason to prestige. Look, in the reason, more reason Call of Duty game, once you prestige, it's just kind of like you just reach level 200 and that's it. It don't feel like you get, you get rewarded for prestige no more. At least the how I feel when I play Call of Duty. Now, it just feel like prestige and it's just more of you just reach a certain level than you actually earn a reward. Like, you don't get rewarded for prestige. The reason I say you don't get rewarded for prestige is that when you reach level 200, you might get a prestige key to unlock one minor item. But the problem is that what's the like prestige and prestige and call of duty, I think that should be like a grand task. Like you should get a you should get a, a reward for prestige. Not like a little itty bitty reward, but you should get a major reward for for prestige. So how would I fix this reward prestige issue? I'll do this. If you reach level 200 you should be able to get one free skin pack. You should be able to get one skin pack for free. Either a gun skin or like a character skin. Now I like, oh, like Activision, like, oh, can Activision ain't gonna do that. They too money hungry. They gonna come to the bottom line. Not really. Think about it. If a person wanna buy the skin, they still can buy the skin. But if a person wants to grind all the way to level 200 to get the skin they really want, why not just reward them with that skin? Like, why do you need to nickel and down your player? Like, if they reach 200 prestige, you should give them the you should give them the choice to get one free item out of the item shop. That's at least how I feel. That's how I feel how that should be because not only you getting people a sense to play your game longer, you also give them a sense to go visit the shop because guess what? They're like, oh, I like this gun skin. You know what? Instead of waiting to level 200. I might actually go back and buy me another gun skin because I like these skins. See, not only did you give them a reward for prestige and playing your game, you also helping you out because they're going to be like, you know what? These gun skins are so awesome. I might actually go buy some. Like, that, that, that's how I feel that how Call of Duty 2022 should handle their prestige system. They should allow a player to get one free item out of the shop. That's how, at least I, that's how at least I feel because I think if you're going to be playing this game for a very, very long time and trying to grind it out, I think you should be rewarded for your play. Anyway, that is it for the top five list. I hope Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2022 is going to be the best Call of Duty it can be because to me, Call of Duty has just been declining over the past couple of years and I really want Call of Duty to go back to your roots. And knowing that Call of Duty, this Call of Duty is going to last for two years instead of the one year cycle. I really hope this Call of Duty is one of the best Call of Duty ever made ever since it's, it's ever since it's going down Hill Street. But anyway, it's been Mr. Play Doctor. See y'all next time with another video. Peace.